In our lives, we often view the world through a lens clouded by our own experiences, beliefs, and biases. This lens, or what can be referred to as the veil of ignorance, obscures our perception of reality, limiting our understanding and empathy towards others and the world around us. The concept of the veil of ignorance proposes a thought experiment where one must make decisions without any prior knowledge of their own position in society, be it race, class, gender, or any other identifying traits. This mental exercise urges us to consider decisions from a position of universal fairness and equality, truly challenging our inherent and learned biases. Let's start by examining how this veil affects our everyday judgments and decisions. Each day, we are faced with choices and judgments that, more often than not, are influenced by our personal experiences and societal conditioning. You might decide to avoid certain neighborhoods based on hearsay or choosy friends who only share your cultural background. These actions, through seemingly innocuous, are manifestations of a deeper, unconscious bees that prevents ooze from experiencing the world as it truly is. By not recognizing this veil, we inadvertently perpetuate stereotypes and widen the chasm of misunderstanding and prejudice. To better understand how deeply this veil is woven into the fabric of our perception, consider how different life would seem if you woke up tomorrow with no memory of your personal identity. How would you view the homeless person on the street if you didn't know your own financial status? Would you feel the same about immigration if you didn't know your own nationality or the color of your skin? These questions are crucial because they push us to think beyond our conditioned responses and to imagine a broader perspective where we are not bound by our own biases. Moreover, the veil of ignorance challenges us to rethink our moral responsibilities. If we were to design a society from scratch, not knowing where we would end up in the social hierarchy, how would we structure it? This question is vital because it guides us to consider policies and practices that are just and equitable, not just beneficial to us personally, but fair for everyone. It nudges us toward a more compassionate and inclusive worldview where empathy is not just an ideal but a practical foundation for all our interactions and decisions. Click subscribe to this channel to get more profound spiritual lessons. In our personal journeys to lift this veil, a good starting point is awareness we must first acknowledge that no matter how unbiased we believe ourselves to be, we are all influenced by our environments and personal histories. Recognizing this is not an admission of guilt, but an essential step towards broader understanding and genuine interaction with the world. From this point of awareness, we can start to critically analyze our thoughts and actions, continuously questioning whether they are influenced by preconceived notions and how they might affect others. This process of self-inquiry involves reflecting on why we think the way we do and how our decisions impact others. It's about broadening our perspectives through education, conversation, and a willingness to listen to others' experiences that differ markedly from our own. It involves challenging our comfort zones and allowing ourselves to be vulnerable to new ideas and differing viewpoints. This can be uncomfortable, but growth often is. As you reflect on these ideas, it's important to consider how the veil of ignorance might be influencing your current perceptions and judgments. What aspects of your life might look different if you saw them without the veil of your personal experiences and societal conditioning? Unveiling the Hidden Truths Exploring the Depths of Empathy and Understanding As we continue our exploration of the veil of ignorance and its profound impact on our perception of reality, let us delve deeper into the realms of empathy and understanding. 
These elements are crucial in our quest to remove the barriers that obscure our view of the world and hinder our connections with others. Empathy, often understood as the ability to put oneself in another's shoes, is more than just an emotional response. It is a cognitive skill that can be developed and refined. It allows us to experience the world as others do, not just intellectually, but emotionally. Empathy challenges the boundaries set by our personal experiences and biases, and it necessitates a conscious effort to acknowledge and understand the emotions and perspectives of others. Imagine encountering someone whose actions or beliefs are completely at odds with your own. The initial reaction might be one of judgment or dismissal. However, if we apply the principle of the veil of ignorance, we are prompted to consider their circumstances without the preconceived notions that usually color our perceptions. What pressures might they be facing? What experiences have shaped their beliefs? This approach doesn't necessarily mean agreeing with them, but it does involve a genuine attempt to understand where they are coming from. Furthermore, understanding goes beyond mere empathy. It involves piecing together the broader context of people's lives, which includes the social, economic, and cultural forces that shape their experiences. To truly lift the veil, one must actively seek knowledge about these forces and reflect on how they influence interactions and perceptions. This could involve learning about different cultures, engaging with diverse communities, or studying history from multiple perspectives. Each of these activities enriches our understanding and helps dismantle the preconceptions that cloud our judgments. Practically, how do we enhance our empathetic and understanding capacities? It begins with active listening. When conversing with others, especially those from different backgrounds, listen not just to respond but to truly understand. Give space for their stories and perspectives without rushing to insert your own experiences or judgments. This practice not only opens up new avenues of knowledge but also builds deeper, more meaningful relationships. Engaging with diverse media is another practical step. By reading books, watching films, and consuming content that represents a wide array of experiences and perspectives, we expose ourselves to the richness of human life. These stories and narratives can act as bridges, connecting us to lives and experiences far different from our own. Moreover, challenging our own perspectives is essential. This might mean questioning why we hold certain beliefs and being open to changing these views based on new information or understandings. It is a continuous process of self-evolution, which, though often uncomfortable, is necessary for true growth. As you reflect on these practices, consider how adopting a more empathetic and understanding approach could transform your interactions and your perception of the world. How might your relationships change if you consistently tried to understand deeply before making judgments? How would our societies transform if we all embraced empathy more fully? The Path to Collective Enlightenment, Redefining Justice and Equality In this next segment of our exploration, we focus on how the veil of ignorance can guide us towards a more just and equal society. This philosophical tool not only challenges our personal biases, but also offers a framework for rethinking societal structures. By imagining ourselves as anyone in the society we are designing, we are compelled to consider systems that are fair and beneficial for all, not just the privileged few. Let's begin by considering the foundational aspects of justice and equality. Justice, in its truest sense, is about ensuring that every individual has what they need to live a fulfilling and dignified life. Equality, on the other hand, refers to the equitable treatment of all individuals, regardless of their inherent or acquired differences. These principles are deeply interconnected, and their implementation can be significantly enhanced by applying the concept of the veil of ignorance. 
When decision makers use this concept, they must strip away their personal identities and societal positions, envisioning themselves in any possible life situation. This requires them to create policies and laws that are universally beneficial. For instance, when designing healthcare systems, if leaders did not know whether they would be the wealthiest or the poorest members of society, they would be incentivized to create a system that provides excellent care for all, recognizing that they themselves might depend on it. This thought experiment also forces us to confront uncomfortable truths about the distribution of resources and opportunities in our current systems. It challenges us to ask, are our educational systems truly fair? Do they provide equal opportunities for learning and advancement to all children, regardless of their socioeconomic background or geographic location? If not, how might they be redesigned under the guidance of the veil of ignorance? Moreover, the application of this concept extends beyond policymaking into everyday personal decisions and interactions. It asks us to consider whether we are treating others as we would wish to be treated without knowing our place in the social hierarchy. This could mean advocating for workplace policies that support all employees, including those in the lowest paid positions, or supporting community initiatives that aim to uplift the most marginalized. To practically apply these principles, we can start by educating ourselves and others about the importance of justice and equality. This involves not only learning about different social issues, but also discussing them in our communities. Education is a powerful tool for change, and informed citizens are more likely to advocate for fair and equitable policies. Additionally, we can engage in advocacy and volunteer work by supporting organizations that work towards social justice and equality, we contribute to the creation of a more equitable society. Whether it's through donating resources, sharing skills, or lending our voices to causes, every action counts. As you consider these ideas, reflect on how your understanding of justice and equality might change if viewed through the lens of the veil of ignorance. How would you design the systems you are part of? How would you change your behavior towards others? Transcending boundaries, cultivating a universal consciousness. In the concluding part of our exploration, we delve into the broader implications of lifting the veil of ignorance, focusing on how this paradigm shift can lead to a universal consciousness, a state where individuals recognize and act upon the interconnectedness of all human experiences. This consciousness is not merely about awareness, but involves actively participating in the creation of a world that honors and upholds the dignity of every individual. The veil of ignorance, as we have discussed, serves as a powerful metaphor encouraging us to look beyond our immediate selves and consider a more inclusive perspective when we apply this concept universally, it fosters a sense of global citizenship, where we see ourselves as part of a larger human family, irrespective of geographical, cultural, or social divides. This shift is crucial in today's interconnected world, where actions taken in one part can have significant repercussions across the globe. To cultivate this universal consciousness, we must first recognize our shared humanity. Despite the apparent differences that divide us, be it nationality, language, religion, or culture, there are fundamental experiences and values that unite us. These include the desire for well-being, love, security, and justice. By focusing on these shared aspects, we can build empathy and solidarity across diverse communities. Furthermore, embracing a global perspective necessitates a commitment to sustainable practices that protect our planet and ensure the well-being of future generations. The veil of ignorance asks us to consider if we did not know what part of the world we would be born into, 
how would we want it to be cared for? This thought encourages sustainable environmental policies that benefit the entire planet, not just localized regions. Education plays a pivotal role in cultivating this universal consciousness. Integrating global education into curriculums can help young minds understand and appreciate the interconnectedness of the world. This includes learning about global issues, understanding different cultures, and recognizing the impact of individual and collective actions on a global scale. Activism and advocacy are also vital. They are the means through which we can influence broader changes. This involves supporting policies and initiatives that promote global justice and equality, whether they address economic disparities, human rights abuses, or climate change. Each act of advocacy, no matter how small, contributes to the larger movement towards a more just and equitable world. Finally, personal responsibility is key. Each decision we make, what we buy, how we vote, what we support, can contribute to global outcomes. By making choices that are aligned with the principles of justice and equality, we actively participate in the creation of a fairer world. As we conclude this exploration, reflect on how adopting the perspective of the veil of ignorance might change your actions and interactions on a daily basis. How might this new understanding influence your choices, your relationships, and your view of humanity as a whole? By striving to lift the veil of ignorance, not only do we enhance our personal growth and understanding, but we also contribute to the building of a more compassionate, just, and sustainable world. Our collective effort to transcend personal and societal boundaries can lead us to a future where respect, dignity, and fairness are not just ideals, but realities for all. With these reflections, I invite you to consider how you can incorporate these insights into your life and your interactions with the world. Shall we take these steps together towards a more enlightened and inclusive future?